Don't ever tell me Richie ain't domestic. Hey, look at my hair walking his dog like a regular citizen. You ain't no worldwide traveler. Look at you. You just a regular Joe. Walking the dog. Hey. Don't attack me. This dog is a monster. That's my boy. Why you get a dog that's three times your size, man? <laughs> man, I'll be that's talking just crazy. light skinned toes, man. You mean to go get a tan on your toes? Oh, look at he gonna try to talk about my ashy feet in this dry weather. Ain't my fault. Let's see your toes. I bet you ain't showing them. Richie out here trying to get his whole fence redone. That's going to be a project right there. This fence has probably been up there for about 20, 25 years. Everything's grown into it, but my man's are hooking it up. They're trying to cut out like old growth trees and stuff and everything before they can put a new fence in. That's going to be rough. Doing a good job, though. All right, Richie got me up in here in another, another must-go-to L.A. spot, Vivian's Millennium Cafe. Let's get our breakfast on. It's a good start when they got pancakes on the cover. Is that what's up? Oh, they got some options. Ooh, chicken fried steak sound good too. They own this thing up in Studio City since 1964. You know they got some history. You know some people been eating up in here. Special people. Special people. Like Richie. He's a celebrity. <laughs> Someone will come by. Did I see you in a chicken commercial? <laughs> Do the banana pancake. That's what's gonna happen right here. Looking good. Got my home fries and a breakfast burrito. We're gonna break into that burrito and show you guys what's up. Is that breakfast burrito we broke up into it. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Look at that. You can't even recognize it. He got sunshades on. He got a hat on. Look, look at it, man. He ain't trying to be recognized by nobody. Look at that breakfast he got. He got the Otis here at Vivian. That's looking good. This one with the breakfast burrito, all that. We got the close-up shots already. I'm ready to eat. Let's shut up and go. I ain't gonna lie, I already cheated on y'all with this burrito. I already took the first bite. I'm sorry. Too bad, it's mine now. Delicious. Mm. The bacon, sausage. <laughs> Nobody beats food in America. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Food in America is in this next level. That's why we chuffy, because everything here tastes amazing. <laughs> oh, we so good. So good. Appreciate you. Home fries. Mm. So good. Ooh, breakfast in America. They ain't giving it away. You know, I could eat for like a week in Thailand on that. <laughs> Woo, successful meal at Vivian's. You might want to check it out. I'll drop the link down below. It was outstanding. Food was great. Great atmosphere in here. Very chill place. Very LA style. You're going to love it. Outdoors, quiet. Well, not really quiet, but fun. Open, relaxing. Come check it out, man. If you're in LA, do the thing. You jog. I like to see that. Go ahead. Okay. You have fun. I pass out if I try to jog up this. Look at that. Richie in good shape for an old man. Whew. I'm in terrible shape for a slightly younger old man. Beautiful out here, though. It's a nice little hike up the hill. Let's go. All right, we finally making some progress up this hill. Crazy out there. Whew. Richie ran up this mofo. He got some gas. I'm dying already. I'm just walking. Look at that view though. They're gorgeous. Whoo! Beautiful. Hello, LA. This is one good way to see LA. About the only good way. From the sky. <laughs> Look at them views right there. See the mountains off in the background? There's a sweet house right here. Very nice. Must be the good life. Whoo! Man, for being in the middle of the city, that is a killer little walk. Rough. Whoo! We on the dirt now. Looking good. I'm glad they blocked it off for a park and a hiking trail. Yep, you can hear me. <laughs> that was an aggressive little climb there. <sighs> Fat kid, he is tired. Hey, pressing my man Richie though. He got all the way up here, running it. That's about a half mile straight up climb. It's pretty good. Well, you can tell you in the city though, <laughs> going up this mountain, either people have their headphones on or they ignore you and don't speak. It's definitely a different world out on them trails. Uh, you get outside the city, get out on trails of good stuff. Out in nature, the real nature. And yeah, people are much, much more social, including their dogs. Even the dogs kind of ignore you up here. Man, I don't know what I let Richie top me into here. We still gotta go all the way up here, get around. Come on, man, he didn't tell me nothing about this. After we just had a big ass breakfast, Okay, that was like six hours ago, but come on, man. 
Come on, Richie. We're gonna see the Hollywood sign? I think we're in the wrong part of town, but hey, can dream, can we? Some bad, bad houses down there. Woo! Love them views. Okay, come on. Up, up, up. What y'all think? I'm taking a break, man. I'm dying. We still gotta go up. I mean, this thing is still going. Hey, it's cray cray out here. Yeah, I ain't trying to do all this. I'm dying. We got some storms out there. Maybe I can be my excuse to go home. <laughs> I know I'm crying a lot, right? Am I crazy? Stop crying. Just go. Look at that view back there. Come on. All right. I guess it was worth it. Let's keep going. All right. We finally caught back up with Richie. I don't know why he was lagging so far behind, but it's all good. At least I got my workout in. I don't know what he's doing. He got his camera on now. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming up that hill. I didn't want to say nothing to nobody. As soon as he get his breath back, he put the Oh, you know I was on. cussing you out. You'll see that later. Yeah, you'll see me cussing <laughs> him out. <laughs> it's all good. Nice trail now. Now that we're going downhill, it's pretty comfortable. Very green and beautiful. Let's keep it moving. All right, this is better than a tour bus. Richie has taken me to the homes of the stars right here. This is George Clooney's crib up on the hill. Maybe you'll come out. I'm gonna go ring the bell and see if you wanna come out and hang out with us. Say, hey, George. George! Hey, he's out there on the balcony. He's butt naked. What's he doing? No. <laughs> How horrible that must be to have people know where you live. Yeah, I'd probably just sell that one and move on. Rolling through that Gucci neighborhood must be nice. Must be nice. Some big ass house. Most of the houses back here are probably around 10 to 15 million. Good luck. Why don't you go ahead and go shopping? Man, I really like the design on that house. That is cute. That's a nice looking little crib right there. I like the angles on it and everything. I do like the more modern look. I'm not a Victorian or a classical home type of guy. I like the modern look. I ain't never gonna own one, but it looks nice. All right, take a look up on the hill here. This is a gorgeous house. Apparently they use it some TV show like the Kardashians or something like that. It's nice, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful, absolutely stunning home. This is literally right next door. Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Look, I'm not playing with that's not a Hollywood set. Look at this house. And then look at this thing. Like, I wouldn't give half a Coke and 40 cents for this. That's crazy. Okay, we back at the house of Richie trying to kill me with that damn hill. But it was fun. It was cool to see that. Everything up there. Got a great view. Got to see George Clooney's house. Got to see some other history up there. Nice, nice. Appreciate Richie. Richie's been an awesome host, but we we both busy. I like I'm making videos and doing stuff up here. He in the back in the other house. You know, Richie got like multiple houses on his property. Yeah, he got it like that. No, <laughs> it's not that dramatic. He got some cute little guest areas in the back. So he back there doing his thing. I'm up here doing my thing, working on videos. Yeah, that's about it, man. It's been a great couple of days here in LA, just hanging out, but I've had enough of LA. I'm ready to rock on out of here. So probably bouncing tomorrow to meet up with Keisha and the crew. Go hang out with them for a couple of days. They got things going on. They're like, are you coming down? Let's hang out. You know, okay. I mean, they just be hanging on. Everything I do, they always want me around. It. <laughs> See, right now, Keisha's watching this, probably throwing something at the screen. <laughs> oh, good, though. But I love having all these people out here. There's a lot of people for me to hang out with in California, even though California is not where I'm trying to be all the time, but I'm always in California. I'm sorry. Just, just the way it worked out. Maybe I'll start meeting some people more easterly at some point but it ain't happening right now hollywood california rolling with richie mac hey. yeah zoom to thailand the travel you OG. Big, the travel OG. heading somewhere it's Going like roscoe's it's like uh afternoon this dude ain't ate yet i ain't ate yet i don't know why we taking so much time to get some food i can tell him i can tell i can tell him why we took so long to get some food why why we took so long to get food because you was taking a hellacious dump for about 30 minutes yeah how long you spent in the bathroom? That's what, that's you what, you ended out like five minutes? Oh, yeah, I drop it like it's hot. I get, I get it. Get out. I don't even waste no time. Man, I'm in there bloop, on bloop, my, and I'm done. I'm in there on my phone, hanging out. How, you, no how you like the city life, Chuck? I don't like the city life. It's, like, it's for you. You like it. The older you get, the worse it's going to get. I'm just letting yeah, you know. You're looking around here like, I don't know why you want to be here, but hey, do you? You business makes you move back. Uh, I'm not saying all that. Yeah. You can tell somebody oh, just came man. out of Thailand. He kept he hitting the wrong button. <laughs> yeah, everything's on the other side, bro. It That's gonna so happen confusing. though. It'll happen to you too. If you drive in Thailand, they're driving America. Yeah, you gonna be hitting wrong buttons. Riding on the wrong side of the street. It's gonna thing. happen. Guaranteed. LA tour continues. Downtown Hollywood. Where we going, Richie? Yeah, we going to Roscoe's. Roscoe's. Yeah, 
Costco. Busy up in here. Right. Oh, side. Let's go. Yeah, this used to be just the whole thing, and then they open that up over there. Right, right. Here we go, getting it in. Yeah, then you don't come here for the decor. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely just come here for the food. We are here for the food. Yeah, let's get it. Roscoe, chicken and waffles. Let's go. Richie got his smothered potatoes. Smothered potatoes. What are they smothered with? Great. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Looks like it's hot. <laughs> Oh, there it is, the famous chicken and waffle. Look at them waffles, boy, they smell amazing. Oh, that chicken. Look at that $23 right here, though. $23. They got some horrible lighting in here, but we're going to get it in anyway. Yeah, that's terrible. Try some of the chicken. A little bit of honey. Look at that. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. So good. All right, here we go. I want some of that waffle. Y'all hungry? You want some of that waffle? Come on, I know you want some. Get some. Mm. Damn, so good at that waffle. Wow, that's delicious. Crazy. I ain't let you down yet, child. Yeah. Everything I hope to be delicious. <laughs> Y'all want to come get you some Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Come and get it. All right, we finished up here. Roscoe's, there's a damage here. That, that is not a misprint. That is $80 for two people to eat at Roscoe's. That is crazy. Woo. Yeah, yeah. Going around Hollywood. Sunset Boulevard. Yay. Can we go to LeBret and Tar Pits, Richie? <laughs> LA, LA. Well, that's it for me today. I'm gonna go down and see Keisha. It was great hanging out with Richie though, good times. We had some good food, hung out for a little bit, talk, talk lots of smack, went up a big hill that he kinda, he kinda like uh, okie doped me on that one, you know, kinda ropey doped me. Yeah, okie doped like, him into some exercise. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I wasn't trying to climb up no hills and get healthy. What am I doing that? <laughs> I enjoy my fat food and my fatness, it's okay. Mm -hmm. 2400 Laurel Canyon Boulevard, or better known as the former magician Houdini's house. Houdini's crib, y'all. All right, all proceeds go to charity, private property, no trespassing. Houdini Street. Hey, we were playing with uh, we playing with Richie Mac's new toy. He got himself a new 14 inch MacBook Pro. I don't know if this is an M2 or M3, but M3, it's definitely gonna baby. be. Oh, you got the M3? I wanted the M2, but I got the M3. What you know about the M3? Man, the M3 supposed to be. Yeah, but yeah. I wanted the M2 for editing. Yep. It's not that much of a difference from what I understand. But anyway, this is going to be a blazer fast machine. Especially, he like he got a lot of graphics and a lot of editing in his videos. This is definitely going to make a big, big difference. Yes, sir. But he's going to have this hard drive for in about a half hour, unfortunately. So that's how he That wrote. is a fact. <laughs> his dude, that is a fact. His dude probably really got fun. 27 terabytes of B-roll. <laughs> it's all so good. This thing is, I love the, the Apple unboxing experience is something else. It really is. They just, the way they package everything, you missed half of it i'm sorry but even this little just this little little tab to open up here and let you see i mean look at this this is just come on man okay that's a wrap over at richie max house uh we gotta head down the road and we gotta go see big sister keisha charles and tell you see what's going on with them keisha cop like we out having a uh, breakfast there at roscoe's and Keisha had like this urgent phone call to me and I was like, uh oh, what's going on? What's going on? I gotta go outside, call my big sister, make sure everything okay. This girl, she's like, oh, I just met a couple of your subscribers. They were like, hey, you know, Chocolate Man in the Van, we saw you in the videos, all that. She had me worried. I was like, man, what's going on? It's like, what, did something happen? Or I'm like, why she called me, text me back and forth? I was like, what's going on? Yeah, oh, we just saw some of your subscribers. Like, really? Really? Trying to be funny. Oh, Van Life Fun, just trying to leave Richie's house and my battery has died yeah it's kind of an old battery anyway looks like the warranty went out on it last year i don't know what hey we stop, stop talking smack man oh, this is a person not to have <laughs> traveling around the world this uh -huh. be uh -huh. come on come on jokes <laughs> come on jokey joke <laughs> come on funny man <laughs> anyway battery died whatever <laughs> uh richie got this got this little is this thing even charged he, he tried to jump my my dead battery with his dead battery like that's gonna do something Bringing me faulty equipment, this thing covered with three inches of dust. Yeah, at least I have one. <laughs> at least I have Got one. dead spiders all over it. <laughs> well, I, ain't, I don't live here, man. I don't live here. I don't live here. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna buy one of these eventually. Yeah, you need 
Yeah. yeah. Only when I don't need it, that's when I'll get one. Right. No, I'm probably going to buy a new battery anyway, so ain't no big deal. I'm going to go over to AutoZone and get me a battery. Chocolate man in the van, get this man a hand. Get this man a hand. Go you get your car. I can't. Stop walking around He's talking smack. Get your ass in there. <laughs> man, this is the world we live in now. I'm not going to say nothing, but they actually have a device on the jumper cables to tell you if you connected right. <laughs> really? Really? You going to tell me today you can't figure out a difference between a positive and negative terminal on your back? Man, it's just, okay. Whatever, whatever, I'm not, whatever, it's all good. I know I'd hook up jumper cables, but that's, uh, that's a little sad. All right, he got him a Mercedes. I'm not sure if the battery is in front or back, but we're gonna find out. Woo that big old sexy battery. Listen to this car, just making all kinds of crazy noises. All right, all right. Here we go. Successful. We have rescued Honey once again. We'll see how that battery holds up. We might have to get a new battery when we get to our next spot. What you say? I said, ladies and gentlemen, chocolate man in the van. That's right. He talking all that smack. Talking all that smack. I guarantee the money, he gonna come back like Chuck, man. So my Mercedes won't start. All right, we almost the big sister's house. Keisha, Charles, and the fam and all them. It's nice out here. It's nice to be away from the city. It's really great to hang out with Richie, catch up, have some fun, eat some good food, but man, does it feel good to be out the city, out in the burbs, here in this beautiful area. Gonna hang out here for a day or two, or who knows what's gonna happen, but yeah, that's about it. Cool, all right? I don't know what else to say. <laughs>